Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a quick video on how to download Windows 10 and make a bootable flash drive so that you can install Windows 10 from a external drive. Okay, let's go ahead and get started by grabbing a USB flash drive and inserting it into a spare USB port. And keep in mind the storage capacity needs to be at least 8 gigabytes in size minimum or it will not work. Go ahead and power up your computer. And once you are booted up into Windows, and keep in mind it can be Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8, um, once you have Windows loaded, go ahead and go out to the internet by opening up a internet browser of your choosing. I have opened up my favorite browser, which happens to be Chrome. Once you have your browser open, go ahead and Google and type in how to download Windows 10. And then it should be the first link here, download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. Microsoft and once you see that go ahead and click on it and that opens up the download Windows 10 page directly from Microsoft and this is the URL address right here and I'll have that in the video description for you also so don't worry about remembering it right now and once you are at this page um, you can see there's uh, a button here that says update now and Normally, if you're going to upgrade your existing PC or computer or your laptop that you're, you know, presently on, you would go ahead and click the Update Now button. And we are just going to go ahead and create a Windows 10 installation media instead. And so we're going to click on this button right here, which is going to allow us to um, create a media um device which could be a USB flash drive, a DVD, or even download an ISO file to our computer. In this case we're going to go ahead and click on download now tool because what we want to go ahead and do is create a bootable USB uh, flash drive so that we can install um, Windows 10 on any computer that we would like to install it on. Alright let's go ahead and do that which in turn downloads the media creation tool to our computer. And once the download is completed, we can go ahead and click on it and initiate the um, install process. And we get this prompt user account control window. Click on yes to allow it to run on your computer. It's perfectly safe. Then we get the getting a few things ready. This can take a few moments or, or even a few minutes depending on the speed and performance of your computer and internet speed as well. And then we get the Microsoft Software License Terms window. Go ahead and read through it. And once you've completed doing that, go ahead and click on the Accept button down here in the right-hand corner. And then we get getting a few things ready again. And that can take a few moments or a few minutes as well. And once that is completed, we'll go ahead and get this next prompt. What do you want to do? Upgrade this PC now or create... Um, the installation media, which is a USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO. So we want to go ahead and, you know, go ahead and select the second one. And that deselects the first one so that we can create a USB flash drive. And once you've done that, go ahead down to the uh, lower right-hand corner here and click on Next. And then we get Select Language and then um, also the addition and um, I basically take the defaults it works for me and I click on next and then you get this next window choose which media to use and of course we want to go ahead and use the USB flash drive we don't want to download the ISO file right now but you can if you want to but we want to create a USB flash drive so click on next and then you select a USB flash drive and if you have two or three of them in here you certainly want to refresh the list if you don't see it or select the one that you want to use.
All right. Um, after that, downloading Windows 10, and we get a progress. And this can take um, anywhere from a few minutes to several hours, depending on, uh, again, the speed and performance of your computer and your internet speed as well, and how busy Microsoft download servers are during the day or during the night. Okay, once this is completed, we get the next screen here um, verifying your download and this is um, something that happens relatively fast as you can see it went right through and then we get the next prompt creating Windows 10 media so it's actually um, going and installing and creating the necessary files on your USB flash drive at this point. And this progress can take a few minutes. Um, I haven't seen it take anything longer than five or ten minutes on the most uh, computers that I've uh, done this on. So hang in there. It'll be done in virtually no time at all. Once it's completed, you'll get this last prompt. Your USB flash drive is ready. And then you can click on finish and you can use your USB flash drive at your convenience to install Windows 10 on any computer that you choose to. Okay, that's the end of this Thanks video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.